Hi, welcome to the last third video for the training session of React UI Kit version 3. We have looked into the theoretical part of the React UI Kit. So in this video, we will see how to customize with custom components in live coding. I hope you can get the implementation flow at the end of this journey. Let me take an example that a customer requested to display a typing indicator and a message status on the channel preview item. So I'm going to show you how to customize the channel list. So I want to make my own custom app component. Of course, I'll use the Sandbird provider first and also channel list provider. And I'll put the custom channel list component. So we can understand I need to make it first here. In the custom channel list component, I'll focus on three important parts. I'll display the UI side and handle the channel event, which name is untyping status updated. And then I'll make a is channel typing function to calculate if I should display the is typing text or the last message. And lastly, I'll apply CSS to complete making UI. Now let's get into the developing environment and see the sample. I'm trying to make a sample in this tree book. So let me make custom app and name it a training session sample. I'll make it in the other file and import it. So I'm creating a JS and CSS file. I define and export a sample app here. In the app, I need the sandbird provider and the channel list provider. And I will put the custom channel list component. So let's define it here. To get the channel list data, I use the context hook use channel list context and return each channel preview item using some UI components. Let me use the channel provider because some UI component might require the channel context. I need the user ID and theme to fill the props of the channel avatar. So I take them from the sender state and you can remember that the use sender state context matches to the sender provider. We are going to provide many util functions. So you can search and use util functions you need. I'm making the channel title and description part using the label UI component. And I'll use the is typing channel function inside of here. And also, you can set the label types and colors. It helps me implement text components to the proper size, font, and color. And let me use the is typing channel function. When it's true, I need to return typing indicator text and return last message if it's false. Also, I need to complete the message status and unread count batch component here. And let me define the is typing channel function as I already said. Let me manage the channel list event inside of the use effect. And I will add channel handler 
only when the Sandberg instance exists. I define the typing channel list and the handler ID using the user state hook. And I'm using the on typing status updated event. And I will add the channel to the typing channels if the typing member count over one. And if not, I'll remove the channel from the state. Of course, this channel is from the channel handle event. I need to add the channel handler to the sendbird instance and set the handler ID to remove the handler later. And please re remember that you have to remove the channel handler if you registered it. And in the is channel typing function, I will return true when the channel is included in the typing channel list. And then I will display the typing indicator text when it's true. I'm implementing the message status and unread count batch component using those UI components. One thing that is awesome is when I just fill these props, these UI components render UI without any other work. Now, it seems implementing the sample is almost done. So let's check if it works well. Oh, I forgot implement, importing the channel list provider. And uh, yeah, user ID and link name. And the function needs parameters. Okay, it seems to work now. But I haven't implemented everything yet. And we have to apply the CSS part. Actually, you cannot see like this until before applying CSS. It worked fine because I already made the CSS file. So, you can set the CSS fits on your custom component structure. And this time, let me take already I made. So when I disable the duplicated CSS file, it still works. Nice. And to check the typing indicator and message status components, let me send some messages. Okay, we can see the text the user is typing. And let's check the message status. After I send message, yep, we can see the message status on the right side. Until now, we have looked into the React UI kit after modularization. I really appreciate you for watching this video and hope it would be helpful to understand the concept of our version 3. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I heard there might be a link where you can leave comments. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the other time. Bye bye.